I'm glad to have this opportunity to speak with you because I really want to encourage you, to encourage you to make your way and feel part of the church, to feel part in your church, to feel at home there, to know that you have a part to play. And I hope that those with whom you go to church, whether it's your family or your friends, will support and encourage you in this sense of being the followers of Christ yourselves and encouraged to know that you are part of this family of the church. And then secondly, I want to encourage you to play your part, to be the apostles of today. I have a nice phrase I like using. I want you to be the digital disciples of Jesus, the digital apostles, people who understand the digital world and can use it to let other people know something of the joy and consolation of faith. And you know, you can do that in a way that I can't. You can do it in circles that I don't get to, but you do, you're in the midst of them. And I really would like you to begin to think and to talk together and to act in ways that help other people to see the figure of Jesus, to understand the love of God in our lives and to bring themselves to him in the company and the community of the church. Pope Francis is passionate about this. He wrote this document, Christus Vivit, Christ is alive. And he was writing it to you and he was speaking of you when he says Christ is alive in you and for you. And there's a wonderful passage in here, it's paragraph 115, which I'd like just to go over for a moment, because it is just great. He, the Pope is talking about the memory of God, the memory of God in our hearts, the memory of God which is so easily squeezed out, but a memory of God and God's memory, which is of us in a loving and compassionate way. Just listen to what he writes. For him, you have worth. You are not insignificant. You are important to him, for you are the work of his hands. Trust the memory of God, he says. God's memory is not a hard disk that saves and archives everything all the time. His memory is a heart filled with tender compassion, one that finds joy in deleting from us every trace of evil. God does not keep track of our failings, but he always helps us to learn something, even from our mistakes, because he loves you. Try to keep still for a moment and let yourself feel his love. These are great words, and I ask you to think of them, and to think of them in the context of National Youth Sunday, the 24th of November. And when you reflect on those words and that feeling and that sense of God's presence, then you're on the pathway to being a follower of Jesus and a member of the church, and we will rejoice in you. So may God bless you always.